YouTube, I will be doing a hair mask again. Um, Y'all you know, kind of get the process. So I am about to get the aloe vera out and cut the sides off and strain it. Okay, so right now we're gonna get all the aloe vera out with a knife and cut the sides off. So, if y'all can see me, And y'all like watching this, so you know, we're just gonna do it. Get all the pieces out. And I cut a lot of pieces up, so bear with it. We're gonna kind of cut this. I don't know why I cut this small piece out. We're gonna still use it though. If y'all can see it, we're gonna still use it. So, what we're gonna do is, and this is how you cut the aloe vera. Okay, and then I need a crutch bag so I can get all the pieces out. Because aloe vera does smell bad, but once you um, soak it in some water and then drain it, it's not going to be that bad. So after that, we're just going to cut a little bit more off. I'm going to be very careful because this stuff is very, very slippery. That's another thing about aloe vera. Aloe vera is very slippery and... Aloe vera helps get dandruff out your hair and aloe vera um, helps your hair get very moist and it helps detangle your hair too. So we're going to cut this off. As y'all can see, Ooh, I almost cut myself. And that's how aloe vera works. We're gonna put this little piece in there, in the bowl, and put all the green parts in there. Now let's get to a big piece. I know y'all got bored and tired of me cutting um, that small piece right there. We're gonna get to a bigger piece, if y'all could see. We're gonna get to like a bigger piece and cut. Yep. And we're not wasting this either, so we're going to get what we can. And then the reason why we strain it is so that particles like this can't, um, you know, get in our hair. Does that real cause damage? And I see a lot of people on YouTube do that and it leaves particles in their hair. So then after that, we just go in, get the nice jelly part and hold on, let's add this. Let's get this part in there. Hope all y'all have a merry, a nice merry Christmas. And I will come back when all this is done.
when all the cutting is done. We're gonna turn the camera. Okay, now it's time to strain it. So we have to plug it up. Here we go. Oh, no. Okay. And wait. So I got it to blend. Um, it did stop. I don't know why. But, you know, I still want it blended a little bit more. So. Right, so now it's time to strain it. No, um, yeah, strain it. I've already blended it out. Oh, excuse me. Now we're gonna let that kind of soak in, drip in. The reason why I'm doing this is so that um, it can like fall in. I'm gonna let that kind of sit in. Yeah, we're gonna add the rest of that in there. Okay, now it's time to add all this in here. And I gotta be real careful because this is at the very tip, at the top. This is very at the, this is at the very tippy top. That's what I was trying to say. You know that when I squeeze it, if y'all could see, all right. Okay, now uh, this is how we do it, you know, 
And this right here is what you know, is in the aloe vera and what can get stuck in your hair and cause serious damage. And I've been through that before. So I know not to make that mistake. I did it, uh, I think last year when I was in um, ninth grade. No, not even ninth grade. When I was in eighth grade. It's like two years ago. I'm in 10th grade now. Okay. Okay. If y'all can still see. Now, um, and one of the first thing I know, I guess I'll put in here in my hair mask is honey, because not only um, well I'll put honey in first. Well, nah, I'm not gonna put honey in first, cause we really, we don't really don't have to measure anything, but. You know, honey is just, honey is very sticky. And also, the honey is actually what's making the phone stand up for me to, like, record. The honey is what's making the phone stand up. Okay. After that, it's time to... Add in the honey. I don't know why I have a measuring thing out. The honey taking a look. I will come back when the honey decides to come out. I got the honey in. Okay. And, and you know what? I actually figured out why I have the measuring um, spoon. Because I'm actually going to use it to get some coconut. So, use this, and I might use it to get the juice. Okay, so I got my, um, okay. So like I said, we're gonna use it to get the coconut out. Uh, I need, I think I might need a regular spoon to get this out. That was only like half a tablespoon. So I think I'm gonna get the spoon to get about the rest of the other half that I need. Actually, we don't, we don't really need that much coconut oil. Now, time to get this. Yeah, I just got this. So now we just I'm um, gonna add this in here. It smells pretty good too, so. Okay. After that, we are about to add some of the shea butter in here. Okay, now after all this, we're gonna add the old um, buttery convey conditioner that I made in here. First, I'm gonna shake it up before I put it in here. Okay, and we're gonna mix this all up. 
And the reason why I didn't put as much oils in here because in the conditioner, y'all already know, it already has like a ton of oils in it. So, and y'all know I'm starting the new, I used it, I'm making the new conditioner. So we're not even using that no more. We're just using that for like hair mask. And, well, I still use it so I can use it all up because I don't want to waste it. We're going to come back with all this stuff is mixed together. My hair always looks short when it's wet, y'all. Okay. Okay. So now it's time to add the hair mask, my hair. I need to strain this all the way. Hopefully, this doesn't leave particles in my hair. Hopefully not. Okay, so now we're going to add this to my hair. I'm to trying to pick out like green pieces out of here because all right y'all okay and then we're gonna grab a comb and comb my hair through this We start at the very bottom. And then we're going to shine brighter because I think I'm going to twist it. back when this is all done okay. I've, it's all my hair and i have to clean up and i will come back once i take this off and prepare to rinse my hair <laughs> 